Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, we are going to observe management of an intumescent cataract. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11 o'clock. And now, in this case, I'm going to make two side ports. This is a side port on the right side. This is another side port on the left side of the main incision. The side ports are about two and a half to three o'clock hours away from the main incision. An air bubble is injected. Beneath this air bubble, tripan blue dye is applied and after a few seconds the dye is washed out. And now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is being used to fill up the SE. And now watch Rexus. As the anti-capsule is punctured, there is oily fluid coming out. This indicates high intralenticular pressure and whenever we observe this we must do a small rexis first and then aspirate some cortical lens matter I'm using this Simco cannula to remove the cortex As I hydrate and tapped the nucleus, the cortex from the posterior aspect comes anteriorly along the equator. As I rotate the nucleus, all the cortex from all around comes out. And thus, the intralenticular pressure is drastically reduced. And now I inject some more SPMC make a small nick at the margin of this small rexis and then I enlarge this small rexis into an optimum size rexis if you use only SPMC and if you make a C flap first and then convert the C flap into a small rexis, then you can call this Momi Rex, Mohantas Mini Rexis. But if you use sodium hyaluronate, you can keep some other name. In my technique, I use only hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and no other viscoelastic substance and now this is submarine chop the tip of the phaco needle goes through the substance of the nucleus and a very good crack is obtained 180 degree rotation and the two Heminuclei are completely separated. Now each heminucleus is subdivided into two pieces. In this case, I am further subdividing this small piece into another two pieces. And now emulsifying the small pieces. Ultrasonic energy being used is 75%. Flow rate is 45 ml per minute. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. This is Faro's from Oatley, Switzerland. The microscope being used is OMS 800. The recording camera is 
Sony S2 Alpha 7. And now this is the last nuclear fragment. At this time, I decrease the parameters. Flow rate is 30 and vacuum is 300. Remove the side port so that followability increases. Posterior capsule goes behind. No leakage from the side port, so the antechamber is more stable. The tip of the FECO needle is at the iris plane and at the center. This is a small piece emulsified. Some visco. And now I'm going to use a 23 gauge Simcoe cannula to remove the cortex. Yes, it is being removed very easily. For removal of the subincisional cortex, you go through the side port and remove the cortex. The right side port was used only for making the puncture. And now is the time for implantation of an intraocular lens. I'm enlarging the main wound a little bit. The main wound size becomes about 3 mm after extension. And now a single piece monofocal intraocular lens is implanted in the capsular bag. The left hand instrument, the irrigating probe, has been used to push the lens in the capsular bag. And now some more irrigation through the main wound all the visco that was in the lumen of the cartridge has come out and now I inject a bit of moxifloxacin then the side ports are closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of these stab incisions The right side port has not been used, so it doesn't require any hydration. The right side port hasn't been used for aspiration of cortex. The integrity of all the wounds are checked. Few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.